Hello everyone, welcome to our last week of Family Gardening and Nature Club. We'll be back at school soon, so enjoy, enjoy your fun outside uh, while it lasts and while the weather is good. And the thing we're going to be doing this week is looking at all the different variety, all the different types of invertebrates, creepy crawlies, um, especially insects. So the first thing we're going to do, and you can try this at home, is we are underneath, uh, this is willow, so it's a type of type of tree that we're keeping trimmed into a, 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 a tunnel. But you can do this under any small tree. All you need is a white sheet, like that, see it on the ground. And then I'm going to shake it, so I'm going to shake all of this, like that. And what's happening is lots of insects and lots of the, the leaves are falling onto the sheet and then that lets you see just what's living in the plants round about. I'll go in here. Shake it a little bit more. Alright. And then we can have a look. So there's lots of things moving around, lots of them are really small so they might not show up on the camera too easily but you'll see them if you do this at home. So we've got, you can see little flies and there's hundreds and hundreds of different types of flies and they all look really different. There's spiders, a little spider, and there's a little red, he's a mite. So these have eight legs, like spiders do, not six legs, like insects do. So here's this guy here. Do you know what these are called? <laughs> <laughs> that's called a harvestman. So again, that's it's like a spider, but a spider has two parts to its body, and harvestmen only have one. Um, what else is there? There's lots of things jumping around. But I think in here it's mostly the spiders. There's little weevils. We'll show you a picture of a weevil. So weevils are little beetles. Beetles are insects. What's another type of beetle? Ladybirds, they're beetles. Um, there's a little thing here. Oh, he just jumped. <laughs> he jumped a mile. And that is called a leaf hopper because he hops around and he just jumped really far. Now, let's see if we can get him to hop. Not one to Melissa. <laughs> oh, he's not on a hop. So these are, we call them bugs. Um, and what they do is they're going to suck the sap out of plants. That's where they get their food from. So they land on the leaves and they've got a little, like a syringe, like a little pointy mouth bits and they stick it in the leaf and they suck all the juices out of the leaf. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do another thing. I've got a net and we can sweep the grass and we'll see that there's different things living in the grass than is living in this tree. All right, so now we're gonna see what we can catch with this net. This is just a bug net. It's just a bit of wood and it's got a white uh, basket so we can see everything in it really easily. Uh, we're in the wildlife meadow at Castle Bank and we've got long grass and there's a few flowers. There was a lot more flowers in the spring but in the long grass, you're gonna have lots and lots of moths, lots of caterpillars, uh, caterpillars that will turn into butterflies as well. So I'm gonna use this, I'll show you how to do it. Um, I think this was only, it was less than 10 pounds, I think, for one of these, if you wanted to, to grab one. Um, so what you do is you just want to sweep through the grass like that, okay? And 
there will be different things on different types of plants. So try and, if you see a different plant, try and sweep through that. Okay, right, so in the net, let's just have a quick look inside. Things are all at the bottom, but they will start to crawl up to the top, looking for the light. Can you see that? There's some moths in there. I can see lots of beetles. There are flies. So these are all different types of insect. And there's lots of different flies. There's lots of different moths. There's many different beetles. And then, so we'll just empty it. So a lot of them will fly away quite quickly. <laughs> so we won't see them. But if I just empty it like that, how much is in there? Can you see all of these things? It's really alive. Hopping around. So I can see ants, moths. There's a little beetle here. There's a red beetle here. Flies. There is, I saw a bee, but he's gone. There's, oh, there's a bee there. There are, that's a little, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that on my finger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a completely different type of insect that is called a mayfly. See that? So its wings are up above its body, not down below. What else? More weevils, those are types of beetles. I can see a, a big spider there. Look at that. So can you see just how many different things are living in the grass? It's incredible. And when you have all these things living in the grass, and all the birds are getting, they're going to eat those, especially all the moths and the bats. You know, there's bats around here. They will love the moths that come out at night time. So yeah, this long grass with a few wildflowers is really, really important for the wildlife. Uh, all wildlife. All right, let's look under here. So this is a pile of old logs. And again, there's going to be different things living in here than what there is in the grass, than there is in the trees, and in other places. So if we look underneath some of these logs, what can we see? There are... I can see a few things going around. Look at one of these. See these? What are they called? They're wood lice. Some people call them slaters. Uh, these aren't insects, these are crustaceans. So those are related to crabs and lobsters. Yeah? And then there's another little guy there. Can you see that? That's not a worm. I don't want to annoy him too much, but <laughs> that is a millipede. Can you see him? Maybe from mm -hmm. that angle there. Mm -hmm. So millipedes have lots and lots of legs. And like the earthworm that we saw last week, they have segments. So their body is divided up into lots of different segments. Probably about a hundred of them. And on each segment are a pair of legs. Uh, millipedes are vegetarians. Centipedes are carnivores. So the Centipedes will eat the millipedes, yeah? But they're feeding on all of this dead wood. So are the wood lice. They're eating all of this wood that's dead and is rotting away. All right, so here we've got this big heavy rock and we've lifted it up and underneath there are hundreds of wood lice. Why do you think the wood lice are gonna live underneath a rock somewhere like that? Why are they not out crawling around? And that's because I just told you they're crustaceans, yeah? Crustaceans, they breathe using gills. 
So imagine a crab under the water. He's getting oxygen from the water through his gills. And in order to do that, it has to be wet. And underneath the rock, it's going to be much wetter than it is out. So they need to have the water on their gills so that they can breathe. So that's why they're underneath that rock. And there's lots of food under there, lots of dead stuff that they're going to eat. And they'll go off in the night time when it's cooler. Maybe it's wetter in the night because the sun's not out and then they can go and find their food. Okay, so this week I'm on holiday. I'm in France this week visiting some family. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this net with me and I'm going to try and find some insects in France. And we can compare them to the ones that we've found here. It's much hotter in France. It's not as wet. So because the, because the conditions are different, you're going to get different types of animals. So I'm hoping I'll be able to find some nice big colourful insects, big moths, big bees, uh, big bugs, and we can have a look at them and yeah, compare them to the ones that are here. Alright, so look forward to that.